Hi everyone, I'm Sandy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a book haul video for you. I have to admit I've been going a little bit out of control with my book buying lately. It started really with the book shopping I did last weekend with Gina Stanier. We went to Barnes & Noble and Half Price Books and then I bought a couple of things on Thrift Books and then a friend sent me a book and then a back ordered book came. So I have a stack <laughs> to share with you today. And some of these are on the Thousand and One book list. Some are for the Up to No Good book club. And one is just because it's pretty. And that one will be the last one. So hang out with me so you can see the last book because it's worth it. All right, so the first book I got as a gift from Shelly Swearingen, my good friend Shelly Swearingen. Uh, I really love her channel. If you're not familiar with her, please definitely go check her out. She's a wonderful booktuber and a great friend, and she sent me this book, Beloved Beast by Michelle Niehaus. Niehaus, I'm not sure how you say the last name. I'll have to look that up. I believe Shelly read this for the booktube prize this year, and it was potentially one she didn't necessarily get along with, and but I had expressed an interest in it, and she kind sent it to me. I love books about the nature and about outdoors and I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I think I saw this on a Brita Bowler video recently as well. So I'm curious about that. I'll have to double check that though. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that one. But uh, Beloved Beast, that's the first book. And then I, if you <laughs> saw my video over the weekend, I just finished reading Lonesome Dove uh, by Larry McMurtry, and look what I got. Of course I did. Streets of Laredo, which is the book two in the series, and Jack at Spread Book Joy and I are going to be reading this coming up, and I'm very excited about that. If you haven't watched my Lonesome Dove has a video, it has a spoiler and a non-spoiler section, but I'm really excited to pick up this one. Oh, note, if you've read the first one but not the second one, don't don't read the back of this. There's a minor spoiler in it that, why? <laughs> this is why I don't like reading the backs of books. But uh, Streets of Laredo, that's the other one. I got this one through Thrift Books. And then I have two books that are going to be for the Up to No Book, an Up to No Good Book Club. I can speak. Uh, the, and the members of that are Jolene at Bookworm Adventure Girl, Fraser Simon from Springboard Thought, Shelley Swearingen, Deb, Angela, and Sonia, who are subscribers and great friends. And the book that we will be reading in October is Bastard Out of Carolina by Dorothy Allison. This is another book I got via Thrift Books um, for, I think, $3. I do love this color cover quite a bit. I think it's really kind of a cool cover. cover. I did read the first line in this so far, and I'm already intrigued by this one. Um, the very first line in this book just says... It says, I have been called Bone all my life, but my name's Ruth Ann. I was named for and by my oldest aunt, Aunt Ruth. My mama didn't have much to say about it since, strictly speaking, she wasn't there. I mean, that's a great opening. I can't wait to read this one. A character named Bone, uh, whose name is really Ruth Ann. I, yeah, I'm excited about this particular one, but that's for the Up to No Good Book Club. And then we do have our next book tentatively picked out for November slash December and there we're still trying to make sure that we're going to read this one and when you see it you'll know why it is Middle March by George Eliot. Uh, this book is incredibly long. I love George Eliot. I've read Adam Bede. I've read Silas Marner. This would be my third one, but whoo, this is a chunky book and one I wasn't planning on reading this year. It is on the Thousand and One Book Countdown, which is fantastic. Uh, and it is one I have wanted to read for quite a long time. I know that Kim over at Middle of the Book March loved this book so much, she renamed her channel to Middle of the Book March. So I am really looking forward to this one and really want to to read it. I am already concerned about my November TBR. I'm not going to lie. It's it's a little ridiculous, but you that's, you know, par for the course for me. But yeah, I did find this one at a half price bookstore when I was out shopping with Gina. I love this cover. I think this is beautiful. I think it's going to look pretty on the shelf too. All right. The next book is frustrating <laughs> in one way. I read My Brilliant Friend uh, in uh, end of August, beginning of September, and uh, by Elena Ferrante. And on the Thousand and One Book Countdown, book four of the Neapolitan series is on the countdown. 
why book four? Why not one? Why not two at least? But so I went ahead and picked up from Thrift Books again, the story of a new name, which is book two in the Neapolitan series. And so this one follows the same characters that my brilliant friend has in it. Apparently this one may only have the section youth in it. So the last one was childhood and adolescence. And then this one, um, from what I can tell, is about youth. So uh, I am interested in the two characters. They have a very interesting backstory, a very interesting childhood, and would like to continue on with them. I just don't know when I'll continue on, but I wanted to have it in case I was so inspired to pick it up, considering I need to read book four. So yeah, that's the next one I got. And then uh, while I was shopping with the, with Gina, we went half price bookstores. I went and looked at the Virginia Woolf section. Virginia Woolf is not an author that I necessarily get along with. I've read Orlando in its entirety, and I DNF'd Mrs. Dalloway. It's one of the few DNFs from the Thousand and One book list. I may try and pick it up again at some point, but. Right now, I did not pick it up. So I saw this one and thought, oh, this is perfect. It'll be on the 1001 list. It's not very big. Great, I'll pick that one up. And it is A Room of One's Own. I love this cover. I think it's gorgeous. Um, a couple of people have told me that this cover really is so incredibly appropriate for this book. Great, I went and was looking at my, uh, kind of my, a thousand and one picks coming up and for potentially for next year and hey guess what this one's not on the list <laughs> so yeah i picked this one up thinking oh it's short oh that's great i because virginia wolf has nine books i think on the thousand one book list i was like i don't want to wait until the very end and have to read eight seven or eight of her books but this one is not one of those so yeah i mean i'm i'm I love having it just for the beauty of the cover. I don't know when I'll get to it. Um, yeah, so I know a lot of people like this one quite a bit, but A Room of One's Own, but I think it was like two or $3 at Half Price Books, so I'm not, I'm not upset, I'm not mad about it. But yeah, it's not on the 1001 list, go figure. All right, so the next one is actually on the 1001 book list, uh, which is great. And it is Wide Sargasso Sea by Jean Rhys. Um, and so this one is supposed to be kind of a prequel to Jane Eyre, which I have not read in a long time. Uh, but I'm really interested in this one. It's supposed to explain, from what I understand, the woman in the attic. Um, but that's really all I know about it, but it is definitely on the countdown. So yay me, and it is a short one again. So I will be reading this one in 2023, but look at that cover, isn't that pretty? I think this is a gorgeous edition. Um, yeah, Half Price Books was kind to me when we went shopping there, because I got so many books there. We're almost to the really pretty one, everyone. I Yeah, wait, wait till you see it, it's gorgeous. Okay, but the second to that one is the second book in the Wayfarer series by Becky Chambers, um, which is A Closed and Common Orbit. We will be reading this one uh, in November with Fraser Simon from Springboard Thought, uh, Gemma from Gemma Books, and hopefully Sarah from Freshly Read Books. Uh, she still has to read book one, but hoping she's able to join us for book two of this. I loved The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers, and people have left messages saying that this one is even better than the first one. So I'm excited to pick up a book with old friends in it again and just have a good time. That's what I'm hoping for, really hoping for. But yeah, A Closed and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers. And now, are you ready? <laughs> I am so excited about this one. A while ago, I found this series by Andrew, Andrew McNeil Publishing, and they're books that are um, illustrated by Marjolene Bastin. And you can see them here on my shelf, these guys. I have five of them. And we discovered there was a book coming out. I pre-ordered this one, and it is finally here. Are you ready? Because it's it's pretty. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty. It is Little Women um, by Louisa May Alcott, and it still has the plastic on it, but I'm going to take the plastic off for you. But look at the pretty purple and yellow flowers. Oh my goodness. Um, I withheld opening it because I wanted to share it with everyone first. Has a little plaque, a little piece that shows you some of the things that are in the book. So these books, if you're not familiar with them, have great illustrations in them, but they also have little inserts of things in them. And so, yeah, they are 
absolutely beautiful copies of these books right from the beginning. Oh, look at that green. Oh, that's gorgeous as well. And then look at this already with that. Oh, so pretty. The flowers are gorgeous in this. Um, just, I'm, yeah, I'm in love with this already. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. So the entire book has beautiful illustrations all throughout it and are just absolutely wonderful, wonderful. And then you come across little things like this, um, first edition of Little Women from 19 or 1869. That was apparently a cover of that one. Uh, and then as you go through, there's a letter in here um, so yeah so so beautiful and then the very back there's this the world of little women I mean uh, it's just beautiful every time you come across any type of an illustration in it it's just magnificent uh, so I'm so happy my husband ordered this for me, pre-ordered this for me, because he knows how much I just love these editions and love the things that are in them. It's a map of Massachusetts. <laughs> um, yeah, isn't this pretty? I mean, oh, <laughs> so it's going to go over on my shelf with the others. I don't think I've actually shown all of those yet. Um, if you want to see all of those editions, please leave me a comment in the, in the, leave me a comment down below and I will see if I can do a video showing all of them. I know I've shown kind of a couple here and there, but this one is my newest one. Oh, just beautiful. Purple is one of my favorite colors and that yellow highlight with the green. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a prettier copy of this book. Oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So it's going to go over on my shelf with the other ones. And that is my last book in my book haul for you today. I'm just going to sit and hold this one because it's pretty. <laughs> so, But let me know if you've read any of these books, if you own any of these editions, which ones do you have? Uh, and I would love to hear from you. So that is the end of my book haul video. I hope you liked it. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, thanks. Bye.